The power of caps. Crime rates go down. The quality of life goes up. I'm Peter Carl, and this is Chicago Crime Watch. They set a goal, and they reached it 10 months early. They are members of the Troubled Buildings Investigative Team, and their impressive efforts are the focus of this week's cover story. We had um, told the mayor that we planned on securing 75% of all unsecured buildings citywide in a year and a 12 month period and we've done that in two months so we're real happy about that. From 475 unsecured buildings this spring to just about 70 this summer with more secured each day. This is the work of the new Troubled Buildings Investigative Team. There are four officers that have 100, approximately 120 buildings assigned to them that we are responsible for and responsible for um, the safekeeping and also to uh, have it boarded and secured. Team members never know what they'll find when they investigate a vacant building left open to the elements, both natural and criminal. You, when you think you've seen it all, you see more. It gets worse, it gets better, it's, and it's everywhere. So we just try to be where we need to be and do what we need to do to resolve it. During an interview at an abandoned service station, a squatter wanders by with a bottle of beer. Officers take him to the building's office where police find signs of habitation, mattresses, clothing, toys, and drug paraphernalia. Several um, bags uh, containing, um, actually with some residue in it, containing uh, heroin, rock cocaine. There's also a couple of pieces of tin foil right here that's good for um, packaging heroin. That's the problem with buildings left unsecured for any length of time. As you can see what happened today, uh, you know, if the problem is not addressed immediately by the owners, it, it becomes a, a greater haven for, uh, for crime, narcotic dealers, and also prostitutes. Police document what they find so they can make a case against the building owner. The owner faces formidable fines. Which could be in the amount of $1,000 per day for each day that the building is uh, unsecured. The ticket's off to get an immediate response. Often, but not always, some owners are tough to track. <laughs> it doesn't end. You know, it's a constant battle because you're dealing with the actual buildings themselves, getting them boarded up. We have a team where we work with actual demolition lawyers. You have the lawyers, you have the actual inspectors who come out and inspect the property. Then you have to write and ticket the property, locate the owners. Okay, how many citations have we written so far on this location? On that location, has had four. four We're citations. out there identifying the vacant buildings citywide, also working with our partners on law, housing and buildings to get these buildings rehabbed uh, into receiverships and we're not just trying to get them secured, we're trying to actually turn the properties around. The Troubled Buildings team doesn't only work on vacant buildings, the team has undercover officers who work on occupied drug and gang buildings, like this home on North Washtenaw, recently featured on Crime Watch. If it takes a long time to work on a particular location, a lot of times the district doesn't have the manpower to do that, so they'll move on to something else, and then it's turned over to us, and then we go out and spend extra time on it. We really do long-term surveillance on certain areas and certain houses to make sure that the drug activity doesn't continue there. Uh, we make buys, we actually make stops. The team also co-hosts forums for landlords facing prosecution. I, I sincerely hope the information that we're going to uh, be providing you will show you how working with us can help you solve a lot of the issues and a lot of the troubling problems that are plaguing your properties. So long as you're working with us and we're making progress, you're going to make your areas and your neighborhoods a safer place to live. These forums tell the landlords what they need to do to come into compliance. And we bring them in and we actually have an attorney talk to them, work with them, let them know that they will be prosecuted if they don't clean up the property. We're not out to just go out and, and give you fines on, on not having these buildings secure. We want, you, we want to inform you of what your responsibility is. Police depend on community residents to alert them to problem buildings and to help keep watch on boarded up buildings. The 7,000 South Emerald Block Club added its own personal touch to the boards on this building. Neighbors haven't had a problem since. Nothing. No activity. Absolutely none. <laughs> and prior to the board up, 
prostitution, uh, laudering, uh, drinking, gambling, uh, drugs, and things of that nature. All things of a bad nature, and all things these officers want to eliminate as quickly and efficiently as possible. I believe everyone here has a commitment to this program. Everyone here was handpicked and selected to do this, and we're putting in the hours, we're putting in the effort, and we really believe in it. Police request that neighbors call 311 or their community policing office to report vacant or unsecured buildings. If, however, you see people in the act of trespassing in and around a vacant property, call 911.